All right, so let's talk about the save as temporary look function of CGP, save and apply temporary look. All right, so presets are a thing um, and you can save as many as you want. You know, CGP doesn't come with any presets, but you can make them and save them and just have a good old time, you know, keeping presets there permanently until you use them again or, or delete them or whatever. That's normal and awesome. But we also have a quick temporary application where you can you can copy a look that you that you've made and apply it immediately to other images let me show you so let's create a real fast look here doesn't really entirely matter just something all right that'll work all i'm leaving it on heavy that's fine etc don't forget everything can be involved in the look uh saturation gamma call everything all right cool now let's go see what else we have we have the rest of this set so down in the bottom, second button from the bottom, there's a little lock with a plus on it, right? And that is save as temporary look. You click it, then you go to another image and you hit play. Now I have them open up as different windows. You can have mess tabs and just go to the different tabs and hit play, right? So you can go to this one, hit play, and you go to this one and you hit play and you go to this one and you hit play. Super, super easy. Don't forget too, if you, you know, this, this is a good idea when you're done. Like these images aren't completely edited yet, but when I have them done and I feel good about the whole set, I'll color grade one, usually what I call my hero shot, right? Let's say, let's say it's this one, right? And I'll color grade that when I'm happy with it, then I'll apply it to the others and adjust as necessary. Sometimes the color falls a little bit different, shot to shot, and you make minor adjustments when you're trying to match a set. Totally common to do. Now, don't forget, if you look at the whole set and you go, um, no, it's it's not quite right. So you go back to your hero shot here. Maybe you go to global and reduce the saturation quite a bit uh, and increase the contrast a bit. And suddenly you decide you like that. Well, copy that again. Come back to the other image. As long as you select it on the CGP folder, you can just replace it. You don't have to worry about adding a new layer, deleting anything. You just come back to the other images, hit play, and you replace it. Now, this um, you know, copy and paste, I guess, is on a clipboard, if you will, if you want to call it that. It This session will go away once you save your files and close and open CGP again. You won't have this. But when you look at a whole set like this, which I recommend doing, um, you can make it all match. And CGP just makes that much, much easier. Now, you can drag and drop the entire CGP folder from one layer a window uh, into another image. But we recommend you use the you know, copy temporarily look or temporarily copy a look function, paste it over. That way, all of the metadata on the panel remains so you can continue to adjust. OK, so just a quick little tip there. And don't forget that, you know, CGP also has a history. So you can cycle back to do the history of how the look has evolved while you've been there at that session playing with it. OK, and that history also gets copied over. So if you come over to this image, and then go through the history, you have the exact same history. So you can always explore back and forth, make everything match or not. But that kind of, you know, temporary apply last look is something that we want to throw into CGP for ease of use, especially when matching sets. Mm -hmm.